Hi, this is LAC 480. This is week six of the class. So we're going to do a little bit of outlining this coming week. This week is quite demanding. I hope you have a chance to begin early enough so that you can get the stuff in on time. I really appreciate those who have been following the flow of this class. It will help you so much in the coming weeks as you get to writing your paper and getting your presentation ready as well. So the discussion points for this coming week of October 2, 2017. You will find, read, and add five new resources to your updated APA references list. Uh, There's a uh, new since the week of September 25th, so by now you should have 15 resources. Okay, so that's number one. So you're going to have 15 and you add the, new, the five new ones. If you are reviewing or do, getting rid of some others, then let us know. Make sure you tell us which ones are the new ones. Uh, you will read the Bedford Handbook. This is the one that's online, and I showed you that last time. And uh, hopefully you bookmarked it. It's on the uh, it's it's on the syllabus. The URL is on the syllabus. So as we go in through this, you will read sketching a plan, which is just section one D. So sketching a plan here. Uh, in terms of uh, your plan for your paper and it gives you some ideas. This is just for ideas, okay? So it's section 1D and let me get rid of this. Uh, sorry to disturb you. I can't I don't want to get rid of it yet. Uh, and then, uh, one, then you're going to look at 1C and 6D and E. So again, you're just reviewing. So there's that section and then there are these two sections here and uh, remember, that, and this is one of the things, you view your audience as a panel of jurors. The whole idea of writing a research paper and doing a presentation is to emulate what scholars do. At the university level, our job as professors is to publish and write about the uh, stuff that we are experts in, experts, okay, that we know a little bit about. So uh, the thing that you will do is to imagine that you're writing in front of people who are of the same level of expertise as you on your subject. So you don't write, you don't dumb down your writing, you write at that, that level. So consider that, so start thinking about that. So that's what that means as a panel of jurors. And in fact, your peers will be looking at uh, some of your papers as well. I've noticed that on some of the comments on the discussion board, uh, it's getting to be a little bit more of a, a, a more of a, uh, uh, the type of thing that I'm looking for rather than saying, oh, that's a great idea, but saying you may want to consider this, so take a look at this, so that's a great idea, but what about this? So I really look forward to seeing more of those types of discussion points as well. So that's the reading part of the assignment, so that's number two. And then in number three, you're going to draft the outline for your paper, including both major topics and some subtopics. Okay, so I'm not looking for, um, for, it's just a simple plan and not necessarily a formal outline. Okay, look at 1D, right here, 1D, that's right over here, 1D, and actually I got a bookmark right there. So 1D is right here, and this will give you an idea of how to write your plan. So that's number three. And number four is what I asked you to be ready to do last week, so hopefully you've got a chance to look at either poems or historical events, watching a TV show related to your topic, uh, art photography or interview a person, and you're going to be just writing here a reflection about that, about a page on your experience with these activities. Okay? So everything goes on a Word document, and you can put it on one Word document. You don't have to give me four separate Word documents here. Uh, we can look at all of them. That's up to you. But I, uh, and if you want to do four separate ones, you can post it all on the same post on Blackboard so you don't have to keep going four times. So uh, that's, that's much easier for all of us as we're reviewing your work. So that's due by Friday, October 6th, and you have to respond by a classmate's dis uh, post by October 11th. And that discussion is now available over here. So it's quite long, it's, and uh, we're heading into that time when it's, uh, things are starting to come together. So hopefully you can get to work on this soon enough and give some quality work. Uh, thank you very much.